Hello to everyone who is interested in dental technology. Today I will explain to you what the coefficient of thermal expansion, also called CTE, is and why it has an important role in the dental technology. It is about the fact that materials change in length due to load or also due to temperature differences. For example, this bridge, it expands due to the heat of the sun and contracts again when it cools down. But what does it have to do with the dental technology? In dental technology, we often have different materials that are bonded together. We will find it, for example, in crowns, bridges and dentures. Let's take a closer look at the two composites for a crown. The crown is made of a metal alloy. The ceramic is then layered on top of this crown and fired in the dental furnace. So this is when the heat gets involved. The ceramic and the metal alloy should harmonize with each other. Accordingly, it is important to consider the CTE in order to choose the right ceramic for the right alloy. If we take a closer look at the bonding zone of ceramics and the metal alloy, three different scenarios can arise. First, the CTE of the ceramic and the metal alloy is the same. This almost never happens. But theoretically, both materials expand the length in the same proportion when heated and contract again when cooled. In terms of our dental crown, both materials contract to the same original size. The chemical bond and the micro-retentions create an adhesive bond. However, this is very low since the tensions between the individual substance is absent. Second, the CTE of the ceramic is higher than that of the metal alloy. That means the ceramic expands more than the alloy. Accordingly, the ceramic is also reduced in length more to get back to the original size. In our crown, this difference in length leads to tensile stress. The metal alloy and the ceramic pull towards each other like chewing gum. The result here is chipping and cracking of the ceramic because it cannot withstand the tension. Third, the CTE of the ceramic is smaller than the CTE of the metal alloy. This means that the alloy expands more than the ceramics. Therefore, it will also shrink more in length during cooling. This leads to compressive stress in our crown. Ceramic has very high compressive and flexural strength. As a result, the ceramic is strengthened by the pressure and the load-bearing capacity of the veneer is increased so that cracks can be prevented. It is important that the CTE of the ceramic should be only slightly smaller than that of the alloy. Otherwise, chipping and cracking may occur here as well. Let's summarize the three scenarios once again. First, the CTE of the ceramic and the metal alloy is the same. That means both materials have the same strength. Second, the CTE of the ceramic is higher than that of the metal alloy. This leads to tensile stress. The result here is chipping and cracking of the ceramic. 3. The CTE of ceramic is smaller than that of the metal alloy. This leads to compressive stress. Consequently, cracks do not occur because stability is provided by the compressed and flexural strength of the ceramic. At Kulsa, we have various ceramic lines with a CTE perfectly matched to the different framework materials in our range. One is Herat Ceram Ziconia for Ziconia Frameworks. Kulza has developed Herat Ceram Ziconia 750 for veneering frameworks made of Ziconia and lithium desilicate. Furthermore, we use Herat Ceram Zafir and the predecessor Herat Ceram for precious and non-precious material alloys. Since there are many more products, I have added a link below this video, so you can make yourself a small overview of the products and the coefficient of thermal expansions. This was a simple explanation to understand the basics of CTE, because regarding the acting tension of two different CTE, there are still further influencing factors which play a large role. I have listed the influencing factors here. If you want to know more about them or have questions, feel free and write us. We will help you. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.